worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified this morning. There is none like you. No one compares to you this morning. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for you have made it possible for us to be before you this morning. We worship and exalt and adore your holy name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor this morning. For you deserve it all, King of kings. You deserve it all, Lord of lords. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. Oh, shalama handeri amazakaya la baboshata. We bless you. We exalt you. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna popote Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna popote Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna popote ima hakuna Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna popote sema hakuna hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna popote sema hakuna Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna popote Ima hakuna Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna popo sema kweli hakuna hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna popote just one more time sema hakuna Poche Wow. 
Just lift your voice and exalt the King of Kings this morning. Exalt the Lord of Lords. Shela bahandiri amasika ya la baboshata. Maze katala brade sula mahandi. Rekata la rababo sala mahandi. Lord, there is none like you this morning. Shela bahandiri amasika ya la baboshata. Reko sule brada mahande li amasula bahandi. Shela bahande ri amasela bahandi. Reka tala rababo shata. Just worship the Lord this morning. Leo. Ya tenda kwangu ni mengi Shuda zako hazielezeki Umefanya hili, umefanya lile Umenipa jina Baba nina kushukuru Tenda kwetu ni mengi Shuda zako hazielezeki Umefanya hili, umefanya lile Umenipa jina Baba nina kushukuru Sema baraka Baraka zako hazie sabiki Wema, wema wako hauzo eleki Umefanya hili Muka nipa jina Baba nina kushukuru Sema tena baraka zako Zako hazie sabiki Tena wema Wako hauzo eleki Umefanya hili, umefanya hili Umenipa jina Baba nina Father, we worship you this morning. 
Rekata Rabayana, Rede Bushanta Rimaza, Rekata Rabayana, Rekata Rabayana, Rimaza. We worship you, our God. We praise you, our King. Rekata Rabayana, Rebakanto Rimaza. We magnify you. We magnify you. You are our God. You are our King. Rekata Rabayana. Rebakanto Rabayana. Rebakanto Rekata Rabayana. Reba kanto reba za, re kanto reba za, reba kanta raba yana, re kanto reba za. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise this morning. We worship you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. I want us to continue in prayer from Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse number 46. Matthew 24. Verse number 46. Please uh, follow with me from your Bible. Matthew 24, 46. Blessed is that slave whom his master finds so doing when he comes. Other version says, Blessed is a servant whom the master will find him doing what he asked him to do. Praise the Lord. Blessed is that servant whom the master will find him doing. And you see, Jesus asked us to keep our light, our lamps burning, and to put our to keep our hands doing. Praise the Lord. And this morning, I want us to pray that whatever the Lord has asked us to do, that we shall keep doing. Our 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 will keep in the action of doing. Praise be to Jesus. That you will not remove your hand from anything that the Lord has commanded you to do. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that blessed is that servant whom the master finds doing what he asked him to do. Praise the Lord. And as we pray for ourselves, we'll also be praying for ourselves as a church that we shall be found doing what the Lord wanted us to do in the city. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hand and just pray for yourself. It is a blessed thing that you should do what the master asked you to do. Reba 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 Kanto Reba Reba Kanto Reba 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 canto reba za, reba canto reba zia, reba canto reba yada, reba canto reba za, reba canto reba za, that we shall be found doing what the master asked us to do, that we shall be ready, we shall be a ladder. In the name of Jesus, Reba Kanto Robosa, Reba Kanto Reba Yada, Reba Kanto Reba Sa, Reba Kanto Reba Sa, Reba Kanto Reba Yada, Reba Kanto Reba Sa, Reba Kanto Reba Yada, Reba Kanto Reba Sa, Raba Kanto Reba Sa, Reba we pray this morning uh, that we shall be found doing uh, what you asked us to do. Our hands uh, shall be found active, uh, shall be found in the very action. Rabba Kanto Romoza. Pray that your hands will be found in action. 
will be found doing. Blessed is that servant whom the master finds him doing. That we will not be distracted. As a church, we will not be distracted. Laba canto robo za. Reba canto rima za. Reba canto reba buza. Reba canta raba buza. We shall not be distracted. We shall remain focused. The Lord shall find us doing what we asked him to do in the sea. We asked, he asked us to do in the city of Nairobi. We shall be found doing what the Lord asked us to do. We shall be found doing Le Kataraba Zaya, Reba Kanto Robo Zaya, Reba Kanto Rema Zaya, Reba Kante Rebo Zaya. Yes, Lord, we pray that our hands will be found in your action. Our hands will remain in the agenda of God, in the assignment of God. Wherever you are, there is an agenda of God for your life. There is an assignment of God for you. And the Bible says the blessed is the servant whom the master finds him doing, whom the master finds him in the action Finally, I want us to pray for our families this morning. I want you to extend a covering over your family, a covering over our loved ones. I want us to keep declaring like it is in Psalms 91, that no evil shall come near our tents. Mashallah, Bakanto Reba Zaya. Pray for your family also this morning. Pray for your children. Pray for your parents. Pray for your siblings. Katarabayanda, Reba Zika Reba Zaya, Reba Kanto Reba Zaya, Reba Kanto Reba Zaya, We pray for our family this morning. We pray for the protection of God. We pray for the covering of God. We pray against sickness and diseases. We pray against premature death. We declare like it is in Psalms 91 that no evil shall come near our tents. Tangaza hakuna maofu itakaribia kambi yako katika china la yesu. Pray for your children uh, that they shall prosper. Pray for your siblings uh, that they shall prosper. Le katarabayana, reba zika reba yana, re kataraba za, reba kanto robo za, reba kanto rema za, reba kantaraba zia, reba kanto robo za, reba zika reba yana, reba zanta la. We declare a covering over our children. Even now that they are in holiday, we declare they are covered of God. They shall have peace. They shall be protected. They shall be delivered from the evil one, from the wicked one. We declare no sickness in our loved ones. No sickness in our parents no premature death no evil shall come near our tents we stretch a covering over our entire families we stretch a covering over city altar family in the name of Jesus Le Katarabayana Reba Sikarabayana we worship you Lord we worship you King of Glory Shalalabakani. And you are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are strong, stronger than the strongest. You are greater, 
greater than the greatest you are higher higher than the highest you are bigger bigger than the biggest you are strong stronger than the strongest you are greater greater than the greatest you are higher higher than the highest you are big bigger than the biggest you are strong stronger than the strongest Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed to be in his presence? It is beautiful to be in the house of Jesus. Help me celebrate the choir this morning. You can have your seat in his presence as you open with me. First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2 verse 6. Where is First Peter? First Peter chapter 2 verse 6. We are grateful to have every one of you. Please help me appreciate Pastor Eric this morning in the house. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Peter chapter 2 verse number 6. For this is contained in scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and he who believes in him will not be disappointed. I'm reading from New American Version. Therefore, it is also contained in the scriptures. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Verse 7. Now, I want you to know the descriptive. It is precious. And anybody that believes in him will not be put to shame. Verse 7. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The other version says, the stone which the builders rejected has become the very cornerstone. Verse 8. Verse 8. I want you to note verse 8. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. 
they stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. Verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Verse 10. Who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not received, obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Praise the Lord. What are we saying, church, this morning? You see, we have been talking that God shows no partiality. Praise the Lord. Now, and I want us to understand, it is all determined by how we position ourselves with the Lord. Now, and, and that is why he's saying, to others, this stone is precious. To others, it gives them a position, an identity in God. But to the disobedient, it has become a rock of offense and a stumbling block. And you see, church, what I'm saying is the way we relate with God will determine if our lives will be built up or it will be crushed. This rock can build you because it is precious. Look, look at what verse number 7 says. This precious value, verse 6, Behold, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious stone, and he who believes in him will not be disappointed, will not be ashamed. Everybody that, that values and positions himself right with the cornerstone, the Bible says they will not be disappointed. It is, it is determined by how we position how, how we take the rock to be to us. Hili jiwe linaeza fanya ukose kuwaibika. Hili jiwe linaeza jenga maisha yako. Ndiposa mtume Petro anasema and, and to you are a chosen generation. Because to them that position themselves better, they become chosen. They become a holy people. They become a holy nation. They become God's special people. A people that have obtained the mercies of God. That is to those that position themselves right. But to those that ignore the rock. Actually the Bible says to them that are disobedient. To them that are rebellious. It becomes a rock of offense. Bwana pewe sifa. Hili jiwe lina jenga na lina haripu. Kwa shababu, hilo jiwe ni yesu. Praise the Lord. And God can build or bring down. God can destroy and bind. Give us Proverbs 14.34. Kwasababu church, I want us to know it is determined by how we position ourselves with the rock. This same rock that crashes can also build. Look at what righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Remember what we read on Monday in Acts chapter 10 verse 34 and 35 that anybody that God is not a respecter of men but anyone that fears him and does what is right shall be acceptable to him. Praise the Lord. Now the Bible says that when you position yourself in righteousness the Bible says it becomes the rock. Instead of the rock destroying you, it builds you, it exalts you. 
Because righteousness is a lifting up to any person. Righteousness is an exaltation to any nation. Bwana pewe sifa. Ikiwa jiwe hili lita tujenga, lita tuinua, lazima tujiposition katika haki. Lakini wakati ambapo tunajiposition katika zambi inasema it is a reproach to any person. Bwana pewe sifa. Church, it is determined by how precious the stone is to you. How we align ourselves to this stone. It can lift you. Church, uh, when we, you see he says in Psalms 45 verse number 7. Because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore the Lord your God has anointed you more than your companions. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, you are God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Because when when you value the stone, when you align yourself correct, the stone that brings others down, the stone that crushes others, to you it becomes the cornerstone for you are lifting up. To you it becomes the stone that will build you up. And I want us to know God shows no partiality charge. But anybody that aligns right, this is a principle in the spirit that righteousness will exalt a man. That is why the Lord says, humble yourself before God that he may exalt you. Praise be to Jesus. God releases grace to the humble, but to the proud he brings them down. The stone that is lifting is the same stone that is bringing down. Go on, Persifa. The same God who exalts is the same God that opposes others. Praise the Lord. Nye yetu. He is ozote ni kazi zake. Lakini what determines what he shall be to you? We said he has exalted his word above his name. So the way we align, remember Jesus, remember this stone. Jesus is also the word of God. In the beginning was God. Born a person was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Praise the Lord. So what we are saying when we esteem the word of God. When we position ourselves in obedience to the word of God, it shall be our lifting up. The stone, the Lord, instead of opposing us, he shall lift us. And that is why the Bible says, you shall not be ashamed. Praise the Lord. Lakini ikiwa tutakata haki, ikiwa tutaenda katika rebellion, the same rock that was supposed to build our lives will resist us. The same God that was supposed to bless us will begin to resist us. Because to him, it is about the principle. It's about what is written. Buona Perisifa. I want us to stand this morning and in a minute I want you to make a prayer that you shall align with the rock. To you it shall not be a rock of offense. It shall be a rock of lifting up. It shall be the pillar that you need to rise. Because righteousness is an exaltation to any person. Please just make a prayer this morning. Pray for yourself. This word can change your life if you just receive it and align to it. This word, the word of God is alive. It is true. It is tested. It is pure. 
anybody that receives it and aligns with it, the word shall lift him. And Father, we pray this morning that this rock shall not be a rock of offense to us, but it shall be precious. It shall be a cornerstone that shall lift us, that shall position us, that shall give us an identity in God, an identity in your place. In the name of Jesus, this rock haitakuwa an offense. Mungu badala yaku yaku kubariki hata kupinga. Ah, we must position our self right. This rock shall not be an offense to me, but it shall be my lifting up. It shall be my exaltation. Mazeketa raba ganda. Reba kanto robo zaya. Reba kanto rema zaya. Mazeketa rama yana. Le kato robo zaya. I pray for you this morning that this rock will not be a rock of offense. Will not be a stumbling block. But it shall be precious. It shall be a good a cornerstone that shall build your life that shall bring exaltation for whosoever aligns himself correctly this rock will lift them up this rock will ensure that they are not disappointed that they are not ashamed and I declare this morning that none of these dear ones shall be ashamed none of us shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus, I declare the rock that is of stumbling to others, that is of offense to others. I declare this morning, it is precious to me, it is precious to us. It is the rock of lifting up, it is the rock of exaltation in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We believe your word. Let there be exaltation. Let there be lifting up. May you are made this rock. Be our cornerstone in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and we have believed. Amen. Celebrate the Lord this morning. We celebrate him. He is the cornerstone for us. Buona Perisifa. He lijiwe likujenki. As he says in Acts 20, 32, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. Listen to me, child of God. The word of God, this same rock that brings offense to others, it can build you and give you an inheritance. Buona Perisifa. Ni, ni jiwe lile lile Ni neno lile lile Ambalo linaungusha wengine Ndilo pia linainua wengine It is how you position yourself with a rock It's how you position yourself with the very word To others it can be a bringing down But to you it will be a lifting up Buona Perisifa is the same rock Please have your seat quickly that we may give our offerings. As you can help us receive envelopes. Father, we thank you. May there be a lifting up.
pay bill is on the screen. It's also on the envelope, please. I also want to remind us tonight we are meeting for Bible Focus from 5.30. And in the lunchtime, we'll be meeting for Grace Hour. I encourage you, if you are in town, please purpose to be in for Grace Hour. Every one of us, we can purpose to be in for Bible Focus tonight. lift your offering before the Lord. Father, we are so grateful this morning for speaking to us. And Lord, we give in obedience to your word, Lord. We align ourselves with your instructions and we pray as we give this morning, may this same rock that we are aligning ourselves with build our life, build our businesses, build our career, and even build our finances. I thank you for everyone that you have gathered in this house. And Lord, I pray for your blessing and your grace to abound in every one of us. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let's be quickly. The Lord bless you so much. We remain strong in prayer. We remain strong in the word of God. We remain strong in obedience. Praise the Lord. As you position yourself, this rock will not oppose you. It will be exactly what you need to rise up. Please rise that we can share the words of grace with one another. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Say hi to your neighbor this morning as we share the words of grace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you.